A cash flow is money you get a little bit at a time, say every month or every year. Okay, let's say that you get the following cash flow. One year from today, you're going to get $320. Two years from today, you're going to get $400. Three years from today, you're going to get $650. And four years from today, you're going to get $300. This is your cash flow. The question is, how much money are you going to then have four years from today? Well, one thing you could do is just say, well, I can just add these numbers up. Uh, 320 and 400, 650 uh, and 300, that comes out to, um, let me see, $1,670. And that's true, but you also have to assume that you're going to earn interest after you receive the money. Okay, and in this case, we're saying that you're going to earn interest and that interest is going to be compounded monthly. So for example, look at the first payment. You're going to get $320 one year from today. And then that $320 is going to have the opportunity to earn interest compounded monthly for three years. The second payment, the one that you get two years from today is for $400. And that $400 is going to have the opportunity to earn interest for two years compounded monthly. Three years from today, you're going to get $650. And that $650 is going to have the opportunity to earn interest again, compounded monthly for one year. Four years from today, you're going to get $300. However, we're trying to figure out how much money you're going to have four years from today. So that $300 won't have any opportunity to earn interest. So it's just going to be $300. Now, one thing you have to do is assume some sort of an interest rate. In this case, we're going to assume 6.5%. So after you receive this money, it will earn 6.5% compounded monthly. And what we're trying to figure out is how much money you're going to have four years from today. Now, in order to figure all this out, you have to use this compounding formula, okay? Uh, you can see the future value and the present value, and then I stands for the interest rate, that's an annual interest rate. M is the number of compounding periods per year, and N is the number of years, okay? And you have to go through each payment and figure out how much interest each payment is going to earn. Okay, let's do the first payment first. Plug in the numbers here, it's for $320, right? And it's for three years, n is three, and it's compounded monthly, we said, so m is 12, okay? Uh, so then you figure this out, it's uh, 0 0.065 divided by 12 equals 0 0.0054167 plus one equals 1.0054167. You multiply the 12 times three, and that comes out to 36, okay? So you take 1.0054, 167 to the power of 36 because there are 36 compounding periods and that comes out to 1.2146716. You multiply that by the $320 payment and that comes out to $388.69. In other words, one year from today you're going to get $320 and that $320 is going to have the opportunity to earn interest at 6.5% for three years compounded monthly. And at the end of the fourth year, four years from today, you'll have $388.69. Okay, if you understand that, then you just basically do the same thing for the other payments. For the second payment, it's $400. M, again, is 12 because there are 12 compounding periods per year. And N, this time, is 2 because the $400 will have two years to earn interest. Uh, that comes out to 1.0054167 to the power of 24 because there will be 24 compounding periods. That equals 1.1384289. Multiply that by $400, which was the amount of the payment, and that comes out to $455.37, which means that at the end of the fourth year, four years from today, the payment that you will receive two years from today will grow to $455.37. Okay, next one, the third payment. The third payment was for $650. Again, it's monthly, so M is 12, and the number of years is one. Uh, so it's 1.0054167 to the power of 12, which comes out to 1.0669719. You multiply that by 650, and it comes out to $693.53, which means that three years from today, you're going to receive a payment for $650. That payment will have one year to earn interest at 6.5% compounded monthly. Four years from today, that payment will grow to $693.53. Okay, the fourth payment. Now, the fourth payment will have no time to earn interest. We already said that you're going to receive the fourth payment four years from today. And we also said that we want to figure out how much money we have four years from today. So because you're receiving that payment on the same day, you have no opportunity to earn interest on that payment. 
so it's just $300. However, I want to go ahead and point this out and show this to you uh, mathematically that the formula still does work. Okay, M is still 12 because it's compounded monthly and N is zero, which means zero years. Okay, so you multiply zero times 12 and then you get zero. Okay, and then you have 1.00054167 to the power of zero. Anything to the power of zero is one. So 1.00054167 to the power of zero just becomes one. So you multiply 300 times one, which comes out to 300. Okay, now finally, you take all these numbers and add them up. The first payment, which was for $320, has grown to $388.69. The second payment, which was for $400, has grown to $455.37. The third payment, which was for $650, has grown to $693.53. And the fourth payment for $300 is still $300 because it hasn't had the opportunity to earn interest. You add up all these numbers and it comes out to a total of $1,837.59. So, four years from today, you will have $1,837.59. And that is the future of your uneven cash flow. Copyright 2008 by TeachMeFinance.com. All rights reserved.